let us now go through the topic of climate of asia now we are one of the largest of the continent so because of the vast area our continent also it experiences the variety of the climate type the temperature it varies from very low and to very high distribution of rainfall now we have got a vast expanse of the land and we receive very uneven quantity of the rainfall the distribution of the rainfall it also varies from one place to the another factors affecting climate of asia now what are the factors that affect the climate of our continent let us go through it one by one first one that is latitude now latitude we measure from the equator now as we are on the equator those countries of the asian continent they will receive very a uh, high range of the temperature the countries which are away from the equator they will receive the uh, slanting rays of the sun so the temperature variation it would be there but we have got all the three heat zone temperate zone is also there torrid and frigid zone that also exist in our continent distance from the sea now distance from the sea it affects the Uh, temperature conditions because the coastal uh, uh, countries they have the moderate type of the climate which is never too high neither too low okay because of the influence of the sea the land and the sea breezes the countries which are away from the sea they experience the continental type of the climate where the climate range it would be high also and it would be low also then we have the physical features now physical features they also impact the climate okay like the asian landform we have the varied type of the landform we have the mountain area we have the desert area we have the plain area all right so because of this the climatic conditions it varies so whatever countries that lie on the windward side of the mountain they experience the highest amount of the rainfall the countries that lie on the leeward side of the mountain they experience the uh, rain shadow area they form the rain shadow area because they receive very less amount of the rainfall then we have the winds now the monsoon it is the seasonal change in the direction of the winds okay and monsoon winds they are uh, usually associated with the with the asian uh, continent so we have the winter and then we have the summer uh, monsoon winds the summer monsoons they are generally associated with the very heavy rainfall and the winter monsoons they are generally associated with the low amount of the rainfall these monsoon winds they are associated with the heavy rainfalls and the uh, monsoons which are taking place in october and november they are associated with the less amount of rainfall then we have the ocean current now the ocean current they also act the act as the conveyor belt they transport the warm water and the rainfall from the equator towards the pole and the cold water from the poles towards the tropic so this regular current it Uh, regulates the global climate now asia climate we also are affected by two ocean currents one that is the oceo current the another one that is the kuroshio current now oceo current that is a cold one okay and it uh, starts from the arctic ocean and goes towards the bering strait now kuroshio current that is the black current or the japan current now it flows on the west side of the north pacific ocean and the coral reefs of japan the meeting point of the cold and the warm ocean current it results in the formation of the thick fog okay and it makes the water navigation very difficult but it generates the plankton also which is the food for the fishes now let us go through the climate the climate we know that it is the weather conditions that prevail in the area over a longer period of time asia is a larger continent so it has the uh, various type of the climatic areas as well now climate variation it occurs because of the oceans mountains deserts then the wind pattern so let us go through the 
different type of the climatic pattern that is available in our continent the first one that is the tundra climate now the northmost portion of asia which is very close to the arctic circle this is where the tundra type of the climate is experienced all across uh, russia now it has the long winters and a very short cool summers here the soil also it remains permanently frozen because of the extreme cold temperatures very less vegetation that is formed over here only in the form of the mosses and the lichens that it exist then we have the taiga climate lying to the south of the tundra a region of the coniferous forest that is known as the taiga and it uh, it is spread across the central siberia now taiga also it has the cold winters and the warm summers and the region experiences winters for 7 to 8 months and the summer that is very short most of the precipitation that is in the form of the snow only then we have the next one that is the manchurian type of the climate now this occurs in the north east part of china which has the manchurian plain and it goes all the way till the japanese island of the hokkaido now this type of the climate it has the cold winters the summers that is usually short and warm the rainfall it is moderate and it is very similar to the monsoon type of the rainfall then we have the china type of the climate that is found in the central china japan and korea and the type of the winds they contribute to the type of the climate that exist over here and it lies in the region of the trade winds so it receives the moderate amount of rainfall throughout mid latitude desert climate this type of the climate is experienced in the regions that lie north and north east to the regions that have the china type of the climate now this is the region that covers the area and then they form these steppes which are the large areas of the land with grasses but no trees and the reason being because the uh, rainfall that is very less temperate grassland they are experienced in southwest of siberia and also in the eastern region of mongolia the climate here it ha- it is cold winters and uh, summers they have little amount of the rainfall mediterranean type of the climate western asia it experiences this type of the climate all along the small coastline of the mediterranean sea and therefore it is known as the mediterranean type of the climate now the mediterranean type of the climate it has hot and dry summers but it has mild and wet winters we have the tropical desert type of the climate now it is found in the arabian desert that is the country of saudi arabia and the thar desert india and pakistan together now there is no seasonal variation in the temperature but the day and the night temperature variation that is there so winters they are cold and summers they are hot and there is very little amount of the rainfall during the summers monsoon type of the climate largely the asian continent it comes under the monsoon climate and uh, whole of the indian subcontinent laos thailand myanmar cambodia vietnam southern china they experience it winters they are very cold extremely cold and the summers they are very hot and it has the four months of the rainfall that is the rainy season monsoon season equatorial type of the climate now the areas that are located near to the equator they experience the hot and the humid climate and they have the huge amount of the rainfall now this type of the climate this is known as the equatorial the whole area that is very hot that is very humid because the moisture that is too much throughout the year the excessive amount of the rainfall that is experienced over here all right and uh, particularly at 4 o'clock in the evening these regions equatorial regions they will receive 